What's up guys, Aris here back today for another unboxing video and today I'm gonna be needing this because today we're unboxing a Friday the 13th related bust. Alright, so you guys read the title uh, and in this box is a bloody ending to uh, sculpted by Marshall Bean which actually derives from a direct uh, movie mold piece. I'll get into the history of this piece very soon. Give me a second. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so before unboxing it, I just wanted to say a couple of things about this piece. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, I'm not an expert on this piece, but I do know a few things about it. Basically, after the Friday the 13th Part 4 wrapped, uh, Tom Savini had the molds and stuff, and I'm pretty sure they, they offered, I'm not sure if it was Savini or, you know, for a big company or something, or something but a chasing bust came out maybe I don't know 10 years after I you know I might be wrong but you know one of those big busts was made using the actual Savini molds and basically this is a recast from the big bust and it was uh, you know added details to it and Marshall did a phenomenal job on it so let's get on to it all right ready to see the beast here we go oh my god it looks so great so there you go for this piece, and actually this one was painted by Art by UM. Uh, he only did a couple of those because Marshall was selling uh, those those bust blank. You know he wasn't painting them, and Art by UM did the paint job on this one. I'll have some close up, you know, at the end of this video. You know, I'll make sure to show it well with those videos. So this will be a quick unboxing, simply because it's not one of my piece. You know, as odd as it may sound, but I helped a friend sell this piece. To Brock, 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but if you're seeing this, I hope you like it. It's amazing in person. It's actually the second time I've seen this piece. And I still, you know, I still love it as much as the first time I saw it. It looks great, you know, full of details, painted eye with, uh, you know, um, some kind of varnish added to it, so it really looks alive. Teeth are varnished as well, and you know, the, the full bust is resin and it's foam filled. Not, not even, no, no, is it? I'm not sure it's a hundred percent resin, but you know I'm pretty sure it's foam filled because it's not that heavy, and you know re full you know full resin busts are usually very heavy. This one is pretty lightweight, but you know it does feel uh, quality. Yeah, overall it's an amazing piece, and basically the only Jason Part Four movie mold bust, you know actual lineage to the movie makeup used on Ted White. Uh, you can find. And I'm saying you can find, but actually not really, because those ones are sold out now. They were made a few years back, but I know there are a few uh, still out there, you know, even not painted. Uh, but maybe you can, you guys could find one. If you want a top part 4 bust, this is truly one of them. To be honest, with the His Unlucky Day and this one, those are the best part 4 bust you can get. And this one, in my opinion, you know, the fact it's movie mold, you know, screen lineage, you know, in my heart, this one t this one takes the cake, right? I'm going to show you how it looks with the OK mask on. There you go. Check out these beasts. I'm not sure I would display it myself with the OK mask on, simply because, you know, it's resin, and I wouldn't want to mess up the teeth. But I love how the eyes showing through, you know, and uh, basically a beautiful job by Marshall, a beautiful job by R by UM with the veining, you know, the shadowing and stuff. So yeah guys, this is pretty much it. I, I know I told you it was going to be a quick unboxing, simply because I'm in a hurry as well. But I wanted to show this piece to collectibles well peeps, simply because it's one of those rare pieces. I've seen Douglas' video on this one pretty recently. He has a great copy as well, and his was painted by uh, Stefan Boivet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and he had it, you know, an eye opening here, and had it an acrylic eye. You know, I could see why someone would want to do it, but honestly, I wouldn't want to touch this one. It's, you know, straight from the mold, painted, some hair glued there, but this is truly all I would want my bloody ending to, to be displayed. This is pretty much it, guys. I'll have some nice close-up for you guys soon. I'll have more videos coming soon. I'm actually shooting a second unboxing right after this one, uh, but I'm in a hurry, so I hope, you know, I have enough time to do it. Uh, I have some nice shots of this one as well, pretty right after this video ends. I hope you guys like this one. Make sure to subscribe, to comment, to let me know what you think about this one. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. 
Sorry for the quick unboxing. I hope you guys will like the final shots. Top notch job, Marshall. Uh, hard by UM. You guys, you know, you guys made a grail here. To me, honestly, this is a holy grail for any Friday the 13th Part 4 fan. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Lawrence from Collectibles, you are signing off.